Hey guys, welcome back. And hello, if you are new, my name is Sarah, and this is my husband, Jazz. And, um, hey, so I make lots of videos like this. Um, grocery hauls, shop with me, what's for dinner videos, <laughs> um, home and lifestyle content, as well as mommy videos, plus size fashion and beauty. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below, as well as turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you follow my Instagram, at Sarah England. And today we are doing kind of like a cumulative video. Um, we are going to Walmart. We have to grab just a couple things. We're actually cooking dinner over at my mom's tonight. We have family night dinner every week. Um, family night dinner, family dinners every weekend. It was Friday night dinner at Gilmore Grill style, but we switch it to Saturdays. Um, and so we have the privilege to cook tonight. So we're making a really yummy recipe and um, we're gonna go get all the ingredients for that. And I thought I would just take you guys inside, see what's new, see what's exciting, see what's fun. And then um, we also need to get groceries, but we're not gonna get our whole grocery haul until later. So I'm just gonna smash them two together so you can see both of them. But I did have a couple of you guys ask me to film when I do go shopping inside. And I don't normally do that. Normally we just do grocery pickup because it's just safer and it's just easier for all of us. Um, but since we're here, I thought I would film it. So we're gonna go inside and I will show you what we get and show you around. So let's go. Masks in hand and we're ready. That's how it always goes One heart's breaking while another one is mending It's all in the ebb and flow If I had to, I could go it alone But I don't ever need to Because I have a home somewhere to run to I could live alone in the woods not a single cell, but I would never feel alone Because you've become my home These windows could shatter to the ground These walls could fall right down All right, friends, so we just got out. It was crazy hectic. It was really busy there today, wasn't it? No. I thought it was really busy. But it's just because I'm pandemic a, busy. Pan busy. No, never mind. Um, anyway, we got some stuff. Whoa, we got some stuff. Um, I found a couple of fun goodies that I'm excited to share with you that you guys probably already saw. And then we got the dinner for tonight. We're making a Caesar chicken pasta. Um, I saw Mandy from Mandy in the Making making it, and I had actually already just pinned that recipe to make, and then I saw her make it, and it like just clinched it for us. Jazz has been craving angel hair pasta, so I went on the hunt to find a recipe, and I found that one, and then she made it, and I saw it in her video. So we're making it. Hopefully it tastes amazing, it looks really good, um, and it looks really easy. So. I did get a couple things and I will share with you the haul at my mom's and then I'm going to add in the, our grocery haul after this. So, meet you at home. Right, so, we are back at my mom's. There's groceries everywhere. Um, let me just show you really quickly what we got. So, we have cream cheese. I'll show you what we're going to do that in a minute. We have some honey made graham crackers from Jazz. Some Nestle Coffee Mate vanilla, French vanilla because I was running out. Um, these are Ritz cheese crispers and the cheddar. They have a bunch of different flavors um, and they are so, 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 so good. You need to try them. My brother introduced us and I was so disappointed because I couldn't find them at first, but then I found them on NCAP and I was so excited, so I got two boxes. <laughs> um, grapes and Oreos, those were my family's. Then Jazz got some, a new shaver, um, some Temptations cat treats for my mom's cats. Uh, this is not exciting. None of this is exciting. Here, Al, some, um, shaving gel, Benadryl. This I got for, um, all of my planner stuff that I'm going to show you when we redo this for the school room for in-home learning. This is what I got. This was from Pen Gear. 
um, and it was only like a dollar fifty. My favorite, you guys know I talked about them last time. I get them literally in every single grocery pickup. So good. And then we have some Texas toast, um, some bacon, strawberries, lemon, buffalo ranch um, salad to go along with dinner tonight. Um, tonight we are making like that creamy Caesar pasta that I showed you. So we have two of the Ken's uh, salad dressing, two of boxes of angel hair. They only had half length, but you know what? I normally break my pasta in half anyway, so that actually worked out well. And this is what we're gonna use for the cream cheese. We have some club crackers, and then I got some of the mild green jalapeno jelly to go on top of it um, for a little appetizer, if you will. Some Parmesan cheese. I talk to you guys about this all the time. This is so good. This is a great value, mild wing sauce, my favorite wing sauce, and they only had one left, so I grabbed it. And then we're trying out some Smirnoff red, white, and berries tonight, because why not? And they're so cute, they're all patriotic, it's so fun. And then let me show you in here some other goodies. So, <laughs> so we got um, the, all of their swim trunks and stuff are on clearance. So I just got a pair for Jazz. They're um, really cute little patriotic ones. And they were on sale for six bucks. So so he can have an extra pair at my parents' house because um, they have the pool here. And then for the girls, I got some exciting little outfits for them. Okay, so I got the girls first day of school out. <laughs> I got the girls' first day of school outfits. I really wanted this online, but they were out of stock for Ollie's. But I found it today, and I couldn't resist, and then I had to get Eleanor one. So it's just this cute little, like, little denim dress. It comes with a little rainbow shirt and a little pockets. This just is so Ollie. Um, and this was $15.98. This is size 6. It may be a bit big, but at least you can wear it for a while. And then this was Ellie's. Everything was on sale for her. We found this cute little shirt that was $2.50. Once again, sized up. And then we also sized up on this, so she'll have a matching little denim overall jumper. And this was on sale for $9. All right, trying this one. We haven't tried this jelly before, so. Oh, cream cheese isn't soft enough. We're going to make work. Wait, doesn't he put in the microwave for a little bit? Uh-uh. Uh, still good. Mm -hmm. That one's still good. Recommend. Yummy. There's the other flavor. My brother had these two. <laughs> There's only two flavors. I thought there were more. There's the cheddar ones, which I showed you first, and then the four cheese and herb. These are really good if you like herb flavors. They're like really light. Whereas the cheddar are a bit heavier. These are a bit lighter. I think this would actually taste really good on top of salad for like croutons kind of thing. They're really good too, but I still think the cheddar is better. Hey guys, so it is a new day. It's the next day. <laughs> we actually just picked up our grocery pickup. So I'm going to share with you everything that we got as well as the meal plans. So I hopefully I remember everything that we bring on for meals. Um, and yeah, so let's just, uh, let's just get started. We did Walmart grocery pickup like we always do. There are a couple things that have been messed up. In my order, typically we have pretty good luck. Um, produce sometimes is really hit or miss. That's the only issue. And really we should just stop being lazy and go buy our own produce. But I do get frustrated sometimes because we will buy like, or we will get like very obviously moldy items. And I feel like they're not doing very good quality assurance checks when they're picking out things. Um, but anyway, still most part, things are pretty good. So let me just show you. All right, so we'll start over here. Um, I have some fresh spinach for salads. I like to put it on sandwiches and wraps um, and some grape tomatoes because we will be having them with a vegetable-y, Greek-y style pasta salad. Um, the only issue is that there are a number of ones in here, yeah, like right here, that are very obviously moldy. And there's a couple other ones that are in the middle that have mold on them. So. Obviously, he, they probably weren't, like, inspecting super well, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I'm a little frustrated. Um, and then a red onion, two bananas, a cucumber, mango spears, um, watermelon, strawberries, um, jicama, which I have been really wanting to eat with tahine you'll see over there i don't know why i've been craving to try that i've never tried that i know it's a really popular like mexican snack with like mango and uh, jicama and some watermelon and stuff like that and it just sounded super good so i've really been wanting to try it um so i got it to try hopefully it's good i have to watch a video on how to cut jicama because i have no idea um strawberries like i said there's two um orange bell peppers and or yellow and one orange 
and feta. Like I said, this is for the Greek salad. Um, and then some cottage cheese. We are going to be having, with this ground beef and spaghetti, we're gonna make a baked spaghetti that I saw on Pinterest. It had really, really good reviews. Fingers crossed it's good. Um, and so that's what we're having with that. We're gonna have like a baked spaghetti. And yeah, so we have ground beef for that. Chicken, I'm gonna try um, just to marinate some chicken and just, I wish we had a grill, but we're just gonna saute it up in a pan and call it a day, but I have some fresh chicken. And then we have some deli mix beef and cheese taquitos. These ones are so good. They're addicting and they're an easy meal. You know, for the easy days, my husband's scopers, which he loves. A lot of you guys ask if we do get water, we do. It's already opened because we were thirsty, but yes, we do have water. Um, and Weber kick and chicken seasonings. I've heard so many people talk about this. So we decided to give it a try and that's what we're gonna use on the chicken. Um, we were out of garlic powder and like I said, tahine. I'm excited to try this as well. And we have two things of Spanish rice. Um, I used to get my taco rice from Nora. They were so good. And I haven't been, seen it or been able to get it for weeks now, maybe a couple months. So let me know if you also get it and if you've been able to see it because I haven't found it and I'm getting worried that they discontinued it because I loved that rice. Um, so I got Spanish rice. I don't remember if I tried this one, but I have it. Um, we have fajita seasoning mix because we are going to also be making um, chicken fajita bake. It's a recipe on Pinterest and you cover it with fajita seasonings, some other seasonings, cream cheese and cheese and bake it in the oven with bell peppers and it's supposed to look, it looks amazing. It has really good reviews as well. So I got that to go along with Spanish rice um, and also the salsa to go along with it as well. So we got some paste salsa. Um, we, these little Lysol, I haven't got these in so long, but I just want to freshen up the bathrooms, you know? This is the mango and hibiscus in. I don't think we've ever had these. I think we've gotten the lavender ones before. So I'm about to go clean the potties and then put that in there. <laughs> and then some Berry Berry shampoo, Cheapo shampoo <laughs> for the kids. And then um, this is my favorite mascara. This is the Mabel Total Temptation Mascara in the waterproof version. Um, unfortunately, I found this out the hard way, but when my dad passed away, I needed a waterproof mascara because for obvious reasons. And um, I really quickly before the funeral went and grabbed this new mascara and we got this one and I have loved it since. It's so good and still comes off really easily when you want to wash off your face. You don't have to like pluck out your lashes, but also um, it doesn't, when you cry or you're in the pool or something, it doesn't come off. So highly recommend. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know about the non-waterproof, but the waterproof version I really like. All right, did I talk about Danimals? I haven't gotten the cheese yet. We have some Danimals, uh, smoothies for the girls, obviously cheese, we always go through cheese like crazy. Block of sharp cheddar, <laughs> sliced sharp cheddar, and the Fiesta blend cheese that's gonna go over the fajita casserole thing. Um, we have, I do this so backwards, we have some green olives. I've been craving olives. I love olives. Um, check out my really sad dead flowers that I hate throwing flowers away. Um, it makes me sad. So I pretty much wait until they are like just falling all over the place to throw them away. They, they're ready, but I hate throwing flowers away. They make me so sad. Um, anyway, I love olives, all types of olives. They're amazing. and I've been craving green. So, um, some more powdered sugar donuts and some z bars for the girls especially eleanor she really likes these we haven't tried iced oatmeal cookies since she was a toddler so we'll see if she likes it now um, but she used to love this flavor um but we just did like the chocolate brownie ones and she really likes them i have a hard time getting her to eat anything so if i can get her to eat something um, that has some fiber in it and actually sustain for her for a little bit i will so she really likes the z bars um, and i love the cliff bars in general and then we have some lunch meat. We have some oven roasted turkey breast. I think some honey ham. Yep. And then I love some, what is this called? Salami. I love salami. So we got some that for sandwiches and wraps for easy meals. Um, this is supposed to go over the pasta salad. It's Catalina. I love Catalina. I didn't 
thought, think I put down light, but I might have, so I have to check that, but hopefully it still tastes as good. Cream cheese for the fajitas. Um, some brown rice. Check out all the school supplies that's coming up soon enough, or school classroom things. Um, some brown rice, minute brown rice. Hopefully it's good, I haven't tried this either. Um, normally I just make, you know, normal rice, but I'm, I'm, tr I'm testing things out, newer things. Um, some rotoni for the pasta salad. Some spaghetti for the baked spaghetti. Um, we have some Oreo, Nutter Butter, Chips Ahoy snack packs. Honestly, I have snacks. We have a snack bin in the kitchen and when the girls are feeling peckish, they go and help be independent by themselves and make them get themselves a snack. Are these the most healthy snacks on the planet? Obviously not. Are we in the middle of a pandemic and the kids need a little bit of joy? Yes. <laughs> so they get the snacks that they want. Um, so this has Oreo, Chips Ahoy's, and Nutter Butters. We have Trolls World Tour fruit snacks. The girls are loving that movie. Um, we do have at least somewhat of a healthier snack. This is the fruit leathers. Eleanor loves these, Ollie doesn't. Um, some goldfish. And the girls really like these. Um, for, with, alongside the breakfast in the morning. I mean, these are like the vanilla bites for babies, but they still love them. So these are the cherry vanilla ones. I made this to be the most weirdly awkward way to film this whole thing. Some Minute Maid fruit punch, some Doritos Cool Ranch, and some Flamin' Hot Lay's. I was craving these. Once again, I want to put them in my sandwiches. I've been weirdly craving things. I'm not pregnant, by the way. Again, yet, at least. Hopefully soon. Anyway, oh, uh, this was opened. Hopefully no one went in that. I can't trust that right now. Dang it, that's so annoying. Well, there's tortillas we got, but these were ripped and I can't tell someone who touched it and I don't want to risk that right now with everything going on. That's so frustrating. Okay. Um, I shared these with you yesterday. I had to get another box because we already went through one of them with my whole family. The girls really like them too. So good. And then last but not least, we have some honey roasted peanuts as well for snacking. And that is it. That is our random food haul for the week. Like I said, we're having uh, baked spaghetti, some fajita casserole. Um, we're gonna have wraps this week, probably the taquitos at one point, and then I still have a couple of items for pantry meals that I can make. But as of right now, that is what we got. Oh, and the chicken. The chicken, chicken, chicken. We also have the chicken option. So that's what we have for right now. And uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, this next week. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for this video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry that it would feel like it was all over the place, but such is life these days. But I hope you got some good ideas and new things to try out at for your grocery pickups. I love watching grocery hauls. It's been my new addiction lately. So I hope that you enjoyed this as well. And um, yeah, let me know any good things that I need to try that you guys are trying lately. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join our little family. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Don't forget that soon there's going to be an ambush of back to school content, I'm sure. Um, I have a lot of virtual learning videos coming um, as far as like my classroom setup and the supplies that I've purchased and all of that stuff. I know a lot of you guys really like my um kid clothing hauls and kid hauls and stuff like that so that is coming so keep an eye out for those things and i think that's it so i will see you guys very soon bye guys